out of the blue corner. His style, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. His weight, 77.2 kilograms, representing Serbia. This is Vladimir Praudanjevic. <laughs> and his opponent, in the red corner, his style also Jiu-Jitsu. He weighs in at 77.7 kilograms, representing Iran, Mohammad Naimi. And the match referee, Ryan Thorpe. The referee. Are you ready? Let's do this! That was a unique introduction. Our referee in charge for our first fight of the evening is Ryan Thorpe, and the crowd is going crazy. Hey, hey, you know what I say, Arjun? I said this is SFL 18. This is when the show is coming of age. Yeah? Rules of the Arizona are based on grappling, aggression, effective striking, and cage control. Three judges score the bout, three rounds lasting five minutes each, unless it's a championship bout, which are five five-minute rounds. It's based on a 10-point scoring system. The winner of the round gets 10 points, and the opponent gets nine points or less. Our judges of the evening, Rajesh Girme, our chief judge, Kushnur Jijna, Banji Maida, and Jetar Ginikar. instructions at all times okay I want a clean fight no fouls yeah, yeah. Ryan top with the final instructions <laughs> Danny can you hear the crowd <laughs> yeah I mean everyone's woken up early tonight <laughs> you can see the crowd screaming from behind us Die. both fighters getting equal Fighter support ready ready fight welcome to Pearl's SFL 18 ladies and gentlemen as we are underway for our first fight of the evening my name is Arjun Chibalkati. I'm joined by the COO, Daniel Isaac. Welcome to all of our viewers once again. If you're just tuning in, this is Pearl Super Fight League. And we have Serbia taking on Iran in bout number one. Both fighters going at it immediately. Vladimir in the blue trunks. Mohammed from Iran in the red trunks. As he gets pushed up against the cage by the grappler. Both fighters jockeying for position Leave early case, in round number one. Naim is one of the uh, the better wrestlers to come out of uh, Iran, who's been competing in uh, mixed martial arts in other countries. But Vladimir has some slick jiu-jitsu. Uh, then, uh, actually, when we spoke to his trainers, uh, they told us that uh, he feels that Vladimir will have uh, the grappling edge in this contest. Yeah, I, I agree. But uh, Naim is no slouch on the ground himself. You can see he's, he's trying to work training, towards the guillotine. Yeah, training and competing for a long time. Very, very strong. And I actually think that uh, Vladimir is in a very tight spot. That guillotine might not look very slick, but it's got some strength behind it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, there we go. look at this. He's got it. I think he's got it tight. He doesn't have it. Oh, there you go. He lost position. Great scramble by both fighters. But look at this. He's looking for it again. And this time, he's got his legs wrapped in the right position, cranking on that neck. <laughs> Yeah, he saw that. Naomi saw that uh -oh. just in time. Good defense. As soon as soon as Vladimir was about to slam Naomi, he yeah, actually he sensed go. it and he let go. That shows some experience, Arjun. Certainly, Danny. He showed some uh, quick thinking there because, as we've seen in so many bouts before, if you don't sometimes don't let go of that, you can be slammed really, really hard yeah. on your head. But however, Naomi uh, spotted that. He was ready was able to escape that. But this is a great start by both fighters so far. I Vladimir actually thought, I thought that these guys were going to come out swinging. <laughs> They're both playing the jiu-jitsu game. Oh, but there look at go. this. He's looking for a leg lock. He's looking for that ankle lock. You can see the way he's twisted it. He's got it in the position. He needs to lock up those... Oh! Naimi needs to be careful with those up kicks. Oh! Yeah, those can hyperextend the knee anytime. <laughs> well, we've got uh, jiu-jitsu and energy. 
versus experience and strength. Well, in my experience, experience kind of wins, but uh, sometimes technique trumps experience. Yeah. <laughs> Inside control is Vladimir looking to land some short elbows. Referee Ranthorpe warning him for uh, landing strikes at the at the back of the head. Dayan Tesic calling out commands in the corner of uh, Vladimir. Look at that beautiful transition. He got his back. Both these fighters are scrambling beautifully. Again, Naimi is looking for that guillotine. But he needs to be careful that he doesn't burn his arms out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Vladimir has definitely showed uh, to be the one with the better jiu-jitsu prowess. Um, Naim is looking a bit winded at, at this point. I don't think that's a good sign. No, it's still early in this fight. It's, we've still got a minute and a half left in round number one. So that's lots of time for uh, both fighters to work. Well, I mean, it's also interesting to note uh, for our viewers, it's traveling to India, making a big weight cut, fighting in a new country different atmosphere, so many factors to fighters preparing before a bout. Yes, Danny, and especially the temperature, current temperature in Bombay does not help a fighter's cause when it comes to stamina. Yeah. And the temperature here is hot, because <laughs> yeah. we've got people really excited for the show. Look at this, he's trying to land some ground and pound, he's looking to get the mount, but I think he's too close to the cage. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got the mount position. Oh, he almost lost position there. Oh, he's looking for an arm. Look at this. He's too close to the cage. Oh, wow. He needs to be careful with those kicks. He almost landed. I've okay. seen so many openings for Vladimir to run some ground and pound. I don't know Maybe why. Maybe he's looking he's to submit that him. Maybe he's trying to establish. Oh, beautiful knee to the body. Maybe he's trying to establish himself as uh, yeah, the I'm top not, dog. I am not too sure about what his game plan is. But there were some really good openings in, in, the, in the last 30 seconds. With 10 seconds remaining in round number one. This will go to round number two. Oh, Naimi gets a takedown of his own. Stop. And the end of round one. Grappling heavy Corner. round number one. To start off our first fight of the night at Pearl's SFL 18. Greg, when the fighter's down, you can't kick the head. You do that again, I'm going to knock a point off. Okay? Referee Ryan Thorpe. No kicks to the head when they're down. Warning Naimi. If you look at the replay here, it was actually round number one, Danny was just mostly grappling all the way. Naimi landed some good strikes, had a couple of guillotine attempts. Yeah, that was the spot where uh, Vladimir was just about to slam him. Yeah, and, and he just in let time, go. Naimi spotted it and stepped out of the way. Yeah, and this was an armbar attempt, but I think it was too close to the cage. The technique was there, but the positioning was just bad. Oh, and I think that kick landed <laughs> a little bit on the side of his face. Yeah, in, in between rounds, uh, I just spotted the referee walking over <laughs> and warning the Iranian fighter. Uh, round number one is scored 30-27 in the favor of Vladimir in the blue corner. Serbia? What do you think, Danny? Serbia is leading uh, Iran. Well. <laughs> I think the judges definitely got it right that uh, Serbia was leading, but uh, maybe we don't agree with the scoring as yet. No, no, I think we're spot on for today. <laughs> well, this is just the first round of the first fight. I think we've got lots of time to disagree later. Here we go, round number two. Mohamed Naimi in the red trunks, Vladimir in the blue. Well, in, uh, in between rounds, I just noticed that uh, Dejan Tesic went uh, up and slapped his fighter to wake him up. So uh, I hope he's going to wake up with those slaps. Well, he's trying to wake Naimi up with a few knees there in the clinch. So I think it worked for the positive all around. But if you can see, Naimi is already moving slowly. Like you pointed out, Dan, I think he was gassed after. He was gassed at the end of round number yeah, one. He looked really tired. And uh, it's, it's definitely important to note that when a fighter is going in for a submission and another fighter is able to escape, all the energy used to attempt that submission can actually win the, win the fight route. It's like, like we said, that he's, he attempted the guillotine like five times and I think his arms started, you know, he started gassing his arms out. Which effectively doesn't allow you to strike, it doesn't allow you to defend the takedown. Well, what I could do is we could offer a free scholarship to both these fighters to come over to India and work on their cardio. <laughs> Probably could. <laughs> 
Vladimir pins down uh, Naomi's right arm. He pinned down there momently, looking for a crucifix of some sort. Trying to get the hooks in. Beautiful is Vladimir. technique. Yeah, he's getting some of those punches in now. But nice back of the hips. He's trying. Naomi is trying to uh, get him off his back. He's in a weird position right now. Oh, ground and pound 101. Trying to soften his opponent up, maybe look for a rear naked choke. He needs to be careful here while standing up. Well, Naomi is a lot tired, but uh, he's, he's still thinking. He's still very active. He is intelligently defending himself because that's what the referee is looking for. Now, this is a battle for position, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people, new fighters, oh, I think uh, Naomi has been cut by one of those punches. He's looking. Oh, look at this. He's looking for that rear naked choke. I don't think he's quite got it underneath the neck. It's still high up. It looks more like a crank at this point. He needs to get that arm underneath the neck completely and then lock it on his left bicep. He's still in a good... Oh, there you go. That is much better now. He still doesn't have it completely tight. He's trying to crank on that. He's switching to... He tried switching to a palm to palm. He's back out. He's back to a traditional rear naked choke. But look at this great defense by tough, 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 tough Iranian fighter. He's able to weather the storm and get out of that uh, rear naked choke attempt. But he's still in a bad position. Vladimir has the back mount. He's got the hooks in. Still looking to land some ground and pound from the back. Well, Vladimir needs to get. Naomi out of that corner. As long as he's going to stick in the corner, Naomi is going to still have the advantage. Yeah, he needs to get uh, the fight slightly in the center. I think referee Ryan Thorp wanted to check on that cut a second ago. It probably looks a lot worse than it actually is, Danny. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, important point here again for uh, Vladimir is that he's been uh, training with uh, Dan Tesic, who's one of the veterans and pioneers of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Serbia. And uh, Dayan also was one of the assistant trainers at uh, SFL Challengers. Now it's clear cut that uh, his uh, Jiu-Jitsu is superior to uh, that of Naimi's. Oh, beautiful elbow. That reminds me of one of Irfan Khan's elbows. Yeah, that's the Inferno elbows. Landing some nice, looking to land some nice ground and pound. Is Lutmir open up that guard? I think at this position, Naimi is defending himself, but he isn't doing much. And just as I say that, oh, oh he lost go. a great position. I hear the crowd loves that. The crowd loves to see the guy on the bottom and coming stick. back. Oh, Naimi has walked in right hand. That was a big right hand, and it, that it, hurt Vladimir. It's literally like the Iranian fighter was waiting. Oh, look at this! He was waiting to the end, and now he explodes in the last 30 seconds of the fight. This is unbelievable. Seconds, 15 seconds remaining. Unbelievable, he, Arjun. He's got Vladimir's arm pinned down, looking for some ground and pound. Landed a couple of punches. 10 seconds remaining, round number one. He Elbows. just has the belt to save him. Elbows. Can he hold on? Just a couple of seconds remaining. Oh, and this Very fight goes to round finish. number three. Very wow. exciting finish. Wow, look at this. Oh, I think uh, I think Vladimir is a bit hurt. His trainer is coming to uh, help him up to his stool. Wow, I think Danny, those punches in the end, couple of those punches, rocked him. That was an exciting turn of events. You know, Manny, I, I think I think Naomi is playing possum. You see the replay here. This well, is how the round started. They seriously, both, Arjun. They both started possum, <laughs> waking from the dead. Yeah. I, I think absolutely was don't know how to explain that. Because I mean, he looked like he was getting beat till the very end. Four and a half minutes, it was all blood mirror. He controlled posture, he controlled the grappling, he landed some nice elbows, ground and pound, and, you know, I thought he was going to cruise, but this is what changed it. He lands a nice axe kick, Boom. and that was that punch which opened it up. The beautiful right hand rocked him. Another one there. Whoa, here wow. we go. <laughs> Muhammad leads this round. 29-28. I, I actually don't agree with that, to be honest. Well, you know, what usually impacts the judges is the last it's, 30 it's seconds. It's dramatic, yeah. And, it's something... and this is what actually turned the fight around.
I mean, come on, he had. Uh, well, we can discuss that later. <laughs> yeah, we can actually. Yeah, we, we should address all of this. Arjun versus the association judges. <laughs> well, you know, if it was up to me, like I said, never leave it to the judges, but what can you do? <laughs> Here we go, round number three. Naomi, certainly the fresher of the two. I think he knows at this point that he has an advantage in the stand up versus that of Vladimir in the grappling. But like we said, Danny, I think he got hurt by those punches at the end of round number two. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, the, the experience of Naomi which, which is working to his advantage at this point. It's clearly evident at this point that uh, Vladimir is gassed. He's not able to take the fight to the ground at all. Yeah, but, he's, uh, he's just holding him will up against the cage right now. Naomi capitalize on this part of the fight. There you go with some elbows. Land some nice crisp elbows to the side of the head. Vladimir needs to improve position or Ryan Thorpe is going to separate them. Again, Naomi looking for that guillotine. He just needs to be careful not to gas out what's remaining. Oh, and he loses it again. If Naomi needs to win this fight, he needs to take top position and he needs to go ground and pound. Yes, he if needs to either keep the fight standing or be in the top position, like and you said. On, guys, and if should. Vladimir wants to win this fight, he needs to wake up. <laughs> Mind the back. Well, after that slap at the beginning of round number one by his trainer, a couple of punches at the end of the round, <laughs> really. Well, did they wake him up or put him to sleep almost? <laughs> well. He certainly seems to be doing better than he was at the end of round number two. Vladimir in side control. Yeah, I must make a note that there was a fantastic start to SFL 18 with our exciting hosts, Keith and Supreet. They did a great job beginning the show. It was absolutely fantastic. The SFL, I say, we're, we're coming of age. SFL 18. We're, we're a major league now, yeah. We're on our way, baby. Looking for that, look at the way he pinned down that arm. Naomi's arm is trapped in the middle at this point. He can't defend himself with that one. And I don't think he has the energy to roll over. So, look at that, he's trying to pin that arm down and oh, nice elbow there a moment ago. See, this is, this is Vladimir's game. Yeah, that's, he wants that's to game. be in this position. This is his realm. But is, is Naomi going to wake up in the last 30 seconds? And do a repeat of the of round two. Well, this time he wants to be certain that he finishes him. But great endurance and great toughness shown by both fighters. Naomi showing some great submission defense. There you go. And Vladimir showing some great grappling skills here. Being able to control the side control. Honestly, I think this is when the judges have a really tough job. Because in a bout like this, when round one goes to one fighter, round two goes to the other fighter, and round three is when they're so close. Now, but so far it's been uh, all Vladimir in this round. I mean... That's when you need Arjun. <laughs> Naomi has about a minute and 40 seconds to try and turn this around. But like I said, Dad, we never know what happens. One slip here and there, and Naomi could have top control again. Yeah, well, Na as I said, Naomi needs to take top control. Ground and pound is his way of winning this fight. But he's doing a lot of, he's doing some damage from the bottom now, is Naomi. He's been able to pull it back to uh, the mount. He's got a butterfly guard on the right side. He's trying to flip Vladimir over, looking for a, a reversal in position. Yeah, but at this point, you can see Vladimir is breathing out of his mouth completely. And that's the worst position to be in because when you're breathing out of your mouth, the chances of you getting knocked out are very, very high. Referee gets both fighters up. This time, actually, Dan, I, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I, I, don't, I don't argue that decision. <laughs> Vladimir is visibly interesting by the referee. And Naomi is walking him down. Nice leg kick. Oh, look at this! 50 seconds remaining. And Naomi gets top control. Still looking for that single leg is Vladimir. Oh, oh and beautiful knee to the head. Knee to the side of the head. Naomi is scoring. The moment they're standing on their feet, Naomi is scoring. 
Vladimir still looking to take this fight to the ground one more time and seal it the round for himself. 20 seconds. Good defensive grappling. Good takedown defense shown by uh, Naimi. Not allowing Vladimir to get in there. 10 seconds remaining in this third and final round. And we end at a stalemate. Great fight by both these fighters to start off Pearl's SFL 18. Well, you know, it's it's so important uh, to note all these uh, these little tidbits that, that capture the judges' attention. The moment about ends. Yeah. Have you seen Who's the, standing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See the replay here, replay of the fights. It was a grappling war for two and a half rounds, and the rest of it was all Naomi. This is round number one and two, where uh, Vladimir had control, but this is the end of the second round, where Naimi was able to land some good ground and pound, some nice elbows. And this is the beginning of round number three. They both started on their feet, but ended up for the majority of the round on the ground. This is the end of the third round, where uh, Naimi had some of, somewhat of a flashback. If, if there was a half point, I think uh, Naomi won by that half point. <laughs> but here's the Twitter feeds. Prior Fever says, SFL Friday is here at the Fight League and at Supreme Billy, I am ready for everything you've got. <laughs> Hashtag SFL 18 should be amazing. Puro Ninja says, at the Fight League, SFL 18. Fight summary. Hashtag SFL 18 is in 30 minutes. You can watch it free on their YouTube channel at the following address front row brian rt at shubra sfl few moments to go hashtag sfl 18 at the fight league at star sports india thank you thank you very much for tweeting and yeah we're we're ready for the decision and vladimir is still gassed <laughs> and i think he just had a research at the end of the second round. Here we go to the rankings in the welterweight division. The champion, Sham Prasad at number one, followed by Kultar Singh Gill. Hot on his heels is Michael Wenham Page, after which comes Babaji Chaudhary and Vladimir Prodanovic comes is at number nine. ninth position. Well, both, both fighters actually entering in the rankings at number nine. What a fight! Do you feel me? What a start to SFL ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a first winner for this evening. And the winner in the blue corner, Vladimir Pradanovic. You can write in later.